unbelievable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Boston Red Sox. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and today's starting pitcher, Tanner Houck. But, Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ready to go now. So in now for Colorado, Jerickson Profar. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. And we are underway. First pitch, 7-10. And it's That's one and one. That one oh. missed. Get out of here, Rocky. And it's even up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Popped up. Devers sizes this one up. He's got it. One down. Got it. Got it. The third base. Randall. Randall Gritchick now. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. In there for strike one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, and one now. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rockies are down quietly. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston, today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What's the word on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective Leading he's been. Off. He's been able to move his right pitches now. around, add in the some track, right change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Alex ah. Verdugo in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that one is inside ball one. Verdugo, former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014. And Chris, I think one of the things that people always focus on with him, he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, 
they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't Whoa. get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Verdugo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Roll to short, could be two. He flips it to second in time. How about that double play? Very smooth on the feed to second right there. You've got to love that glove toss, boo. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you've got to remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. So now Turner in on that right side. That ball. one misses, and that's ball one. The why to kick the pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That's through there for a strike. Way high. Ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And that one is lifted in the air. Jones under it. And that is that. Scoreless after one. Back here in Boston, top of the second, and now it's Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz. How back to work, and that's down and away. Slider misses outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Misses oh. with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Splits the plate, and it's 3-1. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Rip to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for him. And now here is a Lowry's Montero. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. No score here in the second. Foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher, do something to get him out of his rhythm. Now here's Nolan Jones. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. There's a strike. They say it went. No ball. 
Next offering is downstairs. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Next pitch has popped up. Arroyo. And he beats the throw very close right there. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Runner at first with two away. Next to hit for the Rockies is Ezekiel Tovar. Ball one, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. And the righty deals. And a good no. eye there. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Can't field it cleanly. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Alan Trejo goes after that one for strike one. Jones, the runner at third. Tovar at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter into the 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. It's softly on the ground left side. Devers throws on to first. That's out number three. Two left for Colorado. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. And now the veteran third baseman, Rafael Devers. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. And that's in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. And the 0-2. And that's outside. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just no bunched him three. up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and ball. catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Adam Duvall at the plate. Next pitch has popped up. Trejo has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Batting six. The first baseman. Now batting Tristan Casas. And a good yep. fastball to start him off at strike one. Now well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to one work one. efficiently. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Two. That one's in there. In the count, one and two. And 
down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning. And now here is Brenton Doyle. Brenton Doyle. Hauk back to work. Swing and a miss. That's no strike ball. one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And there's a hit. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Good bad ball hitting right there. Just kind of threw the barrel at the ball, trying to protect with two strikes, and sometimes it works out well for you. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now batting jerks and profile. That's in there, and that's strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next offering is foul back. Runner at first with no outs here. Next no, offering is down low. It's a good take. Next offering misses, two and two. And a pitch. That misses the zone, full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Throw over to first, Doyle gets back easily. Back to work, three, two now. Sets him down looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now here is Randall Gritchick. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Doyle at first one gone swing and a miss and a count one and one swings through that one out in front that time clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes swing and a miss couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon now at the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Next one is off the play. And now 2 and 0. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Here's a 2 1. Smash to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. So one left for Colorado. Still no score. Back now at Fenway. Here's Christian Arroyo. The second baseman. Christian Arroyo. The pitch. 
A little bit oh. low. And the pitch is in for a strike. And one and one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the Back outer in. black. The Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. McGuire. Here's Reese McGuire. On a line, base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's Kike Hernandez. Hernandez getting to start at shortstop, 31 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Montero takes it to the bag. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball no talent. It produces no Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Here's Alex Verdugo. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Runner at second, two down. That one ripped. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Red Sox leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Here at Fenway, start of the fourth. Now the Rockies the catcher, catcher Elias, Diaz. Elias Diaz. The right-hander back to work. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. And he takes a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Finished him off by blowing it by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees, so that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. Next for Colorado, Elauri's Montero. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. Line and a base hit into right. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One down. Nolan Jones, the next to hit, reached on an infield single his first time. That hits the Runner. dirt, ball one.
runner leads away at second. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Tobar can't hold up, and that's a strike. One for one with a single so far. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. That one out to right. Verdugo gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. On the board first, it's one zip. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Now, here is Alan Trejo. First time up, he grounded to third. And that's in there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. That's a ball. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Ah. And a strike. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one-two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Into the monster seats and gone. An absolute blast to left. His first homer of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. So digging in, Brenton Doyle. First no. pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. Two outs and fouled off. The one one. Here's a tapper towards short. Hernandez on the run, throw to first, and the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway, bottom four. Now the number two hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. On the corner for a strike, it's 0-1. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that now ball game. The, 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 and then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Here's Justin Turner. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Oh. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Swing and a miss, oh, and that's strike two. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. 
just oh. missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Oh. He goes down looking. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you now think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs on to that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Swing and a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Looked like it was a little bit up. Swings and misses. And a count, one and two. And now two and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Next pitch downstairs, and it's a full count. And now the lefty. And Devers hits that one. Doyle under this one. Brings it in for the third out. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it here, three nothing. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerickson Profar. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Bernanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. And he deals just Whoa, off the outside. outside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Duvall makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Now bat the third base. Randall. So in now for Colorado, Grichik. Randall Gritchick. First offering, and it just misses. There's a strike. One, one. Next pitch is downstairs. And that one is in for a strike. Next pitch is popped up. Two away down. Now bad. So now here's the DH. Ryan McMahon. McMahon. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. In there, and it's 0-1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. And now it's even up. Righty delivers. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's gone. 
He'll touch them all. Home run number 10 of the year. And they add on. It's 4 nothing. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Ball one there. The 1 0. And there's a ball. Close, but called a ball. Three balls, no strikes. And that's a strike. Three balls, one strike. And yeah, the right hander deals. 3-1, yeah. and he couldn't come up with it. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Red Sox bullpen. Tanner Houck won't go any further, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. Nick Pavetta takes over on the mound. And he's got a big time breaking Number ball to contend seven. with. Uh, hitters hey, hey. going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. So, a man aboard. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Diaz leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball two. Righty to the plate. Gets the call, and it's two and one now. That's inside. Three one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And ball four to a board. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough advance? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Jones in the box again, takes a strike. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps no not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Right-handed reliever. Got him. Inning over, and it could have been worse. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway Park, Leading here's off. the center fielder, Red Adam Red Duvall. The center, the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Pitch. Singy Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. Right. The 
next offering is in for a strike. Well, most strike. importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves, first inning World Series Grand Slam, the swing he will never forget. Next offering oh. is downstairs. Duvall split Duval. that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21, ended up winning the gold glove, and he led the National League and runs batted in. The next oh, offering ball. misses, and that's ball three. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just Leading capable off. of hitting well, pitches right outside off. of the zone and driving them a long way. And at first, and stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. And that's in there for strike one. You know, these Red Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. 0-2 oh now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Definitely made him chase now a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Arroyo stands in now, looks at that one inside. One ball, no strike. That's There's a strike. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. In the air, right field. Jones brings it in with a nice run and grab. The catcher, number three. 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 And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Reese McGuire. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is foul back. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. That's strike two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. And a pitch. Ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two, two now. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Duvall, round second on his way to third. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And it's scored position with two away. Enrique Hernandez up next for the Red Sox. Grounded out his first time. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Kicks and deals. 
Got the bat going too soon at strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. In the dirt. Diaz gets it to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Pavetta back to work. Pavetta, 30 years old now, and he was born in Canada. Movement in the bullpen, Cutter Crawford preparing to come on if needed. Probably no surprise to you, Boog, but Toronto produces more MLB players than any other city in Canada. Montreal is right up there, too. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Kind of break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. The punch out there. Snap throw. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. So up next, Alan Trejo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch has popped up. Devers should have this one. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two away. The center field, number nine, Brenton Doyle. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. First Ball offering one. misses the mark. And ball another two. ball. You can do it, Red Sox. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Yep. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Next one ball. misses. Three and one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And a 3-1 on the way. Oh, and that one dude. clips the corner. Full count. On the ground to third. And it stays fair. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now Jerickson Profar. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Profar, 30 years old now, and he's a native of Curacao. Doyle off of first with two away. Here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Curacao won the Little League World Series in 2004 with 11-year-old Jerickson Profar starting on the mound against the U.S. in the championship game. 1-1 one, one now. That one Two, ran one. inside, almost got him. Next offering upstairs. Three ball, one strike. And here it comes. 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps now, this now, inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, Randall. and a chance for this Richard. offense to add on to their lead. Randall Gritchick digging in for the Rockies. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one lifted in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the third out. Two left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rockies four and the Red Sox one. Back here at the ballpark, John leading Shabby off. with Chris Singleton in the, the booth off. and leading off the Go bottom of the sixth, you. Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. That pitch gets the corner, and it's nothing in two. Got him swinging. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and no still no laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. On the ground, Trejo over to first, Out. and a couple of quick outs. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Turner climbs in on that right side. Turner goes five feet, 11 inches, a member of the 1,000 hit club. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. No That's strike That's one. Right. And a pitch. And a foul ball left side. The 0 2. Just no. misses with that one. Fights it off, you'll see another. One and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Cutter Crawford. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 50, Cutter Crawford. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. The designated hitter, Ryan McMahon. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes.
the why to kick the pitch. And that's oh. downstairs and outside. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. Oh. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now back. Catch it. Elias Diaz. Next to hit for the Rockies, Elias Diaz. Pitch misses oh. there. One and oh. to right and an automatic double as it hops the fence that was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen though and he's really improving his accuracy out there it's almost like he tried to do it and Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Cut off. Now a throw home. Not in time. He scores. And they're up by four. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And it's second with one away. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Oh, one down. That one in the dirt and gets away. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Well, that right there can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball's gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it because you're already in scoring position. Well, he was sure there, and now he's only 90 feet away from scoring. And a 1-1. There's a strike. Way inside, gets out of the way. Oh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle yeah, Charlie, yeah, yeah. and you can see it's why. Good. It's not a it's looping good. slow curve. So he throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Tobar in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Oh. That one finds the zone. Strike one. On, they say it went. One, two. Next oh. offering is down low. Montero on third with two out. That to right. Reaching for it and brings it in. A run on two hits and they leave one. Midway in inning number seven and it's time to stretch. It's the Rockies five and the Red Sox one. here in Boston ready, ready to go, go for the last half of the right inning now. Devers now the third baseman the, player. the wind of the pitch that one oh, close ruled a ball 
And that's ball one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Next offering is in for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Now one oh, missed. No. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And Devers is set down. One up, one down. Now bad. The center field. Adam Duvall. So digging in, Adam Duvall. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. That's in for a strike. And right back to the mound. The throw to first. Two up, two down. Up next. The first base. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch just misses. Shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rockies five and the Red Sox one. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Alan Trejo. The pitch. That's in there. Misses ball off one. the play. One ball, one strike. One, one. The one, one is fouled off. The one, two. In the dirt, throw to first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Got him out on the front foot, couldn't keep the hands back long enough, and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strikes. And he deals. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And it's off the wall. The relay to third. He's in there. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat.
Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter. Jerickson Profar. Ball one, no strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Profar gets a piece there. The 1-1. One -one. Ah. And a ball evens the count. Stays alive. Comes a 2 2. That one drifts oh, yeah. inside. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. Take your base. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. One away, runners at first and third. Now the third baseman, Randall Gritchick. First oh. offering misses the mark. Well, he's already in One some out. trouble and fallen behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate, oh. and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. Two on, one out. Inside. Doyle on third, Profar at first, one gone. That one finds the zone. And now three balls and a strike. That smash towards center. Pulls up and that's in there for a knock. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 6-1. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Justin Garza. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So first and second with one man gone, Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And yeah, that's a little bit high, and it's one to know. One out, runners at first and second. In the air to left, down the line. And there's two down. Elias Diaz will hit next. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers. And this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Well, one I think ball. it's the ability one to strike. assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Next pitch one is two. outside. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. Ball three.
They say you win. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand that, all right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really look at the numbers, <laughs> you really audit everything, guys kind of are who they are. Yeah, the righty deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really yeah, patient at the play, the, the game weekend. plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Fires across the diamond, and that is that. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rockies six and the Red Sox one. Bottom of the eighth, still stepping in for Boston, Christian Arroyo. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Slider clips the zone. Freeland still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Inside oh, no, just it. missed. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Next offering no, upstairs. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s that fastball. Pitch, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. McGuire no. in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws across the diamond. Two up, two down. Now two outs, space is empty. Enrique Hernandez up next for the Red Sox. That one way outside. Ball one. Good eye right there. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. Out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rocky six and the Red Sox one. Back in Boston, all set to start the ninth in this one. So in now for Colorado, Nolan Jones. Garza back to work. That misses, and that's ball one. Garza measures five feet, ten inches. He features a two-seam fastball, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a strike. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W.
next for Colorado Ezekiel Tovar. That takes low for ball one. One ball, no strike. And a pitch. Out to short, Hernandez. Zips it across, out. and a couple of quick outs. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. Rips that one to right. And that's the inning. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Rockies six and the Red Sox one. Daniel Bard gets the call to the mound. He's been so good against lefties. Number 52, Daniel Bard. And now the right fielder, Leading Alex off. Verdugo. The, Red Sox. the right fielder. The pitch. And ball one. One oh. Left hand hitter waits. Ah. And a count one and two. Righty delivers. And ball. there's a ball. Right side. Trejo. Sends it to first. And Verdugo is set down. The left number seven. Masataka. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Brent Suter getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Just no. missed. That just ball missed. Ball. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, no but no now at least he gets a fresh start just against a new batter, but he just needs to get there. back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Turner batting with one down takes a strike there it was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it comes up empty on the swing oh, on two now Yoshida leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where 
it's not over the plate but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone it's too late to hold up your swing on the ground on the first ball game all these guys just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball but today they put it together this should start them rolling now you have to pay attention to the details if you do that with good pitching good defense you will win most of your ball games 6-1 is your final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire crew I'm John Chambi saying so long